Journey from Ballot Boxes to EVM Machines The first election in independent India was held in 1951-52. to 52. This was the beginning of shaping of democracy through electoral politics. In the initial elections, ballot boxes were used for the purpose of voting. The use of EVM machines started from the decade of 1980s. Many things could be achieved because of voting machine. If the voters do not want to vote for any candidate, they can choose an option of none of the above. Nota. This option can be given only because of voting machine. It has become easy for disabled people, Divyanga, to vote. It reduced the cutting of trees, thereby helped in protection of environment. Also, early declaration of election results has been made possible. Challenges in Conducting Free and Fair Elections If we take into account the size of our country and the number of voters, conducting elections becomes a truly challenging task. Election Commission has to work in accordance with law while dealing with these challenges. Some of the challenges are mentioned below. Misuse of money takes place to great extent during elections. Election Commission has to take several measures to stop misuse of money. Many political parties give election tickets to the candidates with criminal background. This results not only in criminalization of politics, but Election Commission also faces problems to ensure that elections are conducted in free environment. Another major challenge is violence during elections. Extent of violence has increased significantly during elections. All political parties should help Election Commission to control this violence. To ensure the continued influence on politics, the leaders give election tickets to their own relatives. This practice creates family monopoly in politics. Electoral reforms Election is a continuous process. The future of democracy depends on elections. Electoral process becomes reliable if election process gets improved. Some reforms are suggested below. Let us see them in detail. To increase participation of, of women in politics, the political parties should give 50% candidature to women candidates and try to ensure that they get elected. Political parties should not give candidature to candidates having criminal background. They should strictly follow the decision given by courts in this respect. The government should take care of election expenses so that political parties will not make misuse of money and mismanagement of money during elections can be stopped. Representation of the People Act should be amended accordingly so that candidates having criminal background will not participate in elections.